What's up, y'all? It's your girl. And I'm back for another video. Yesterday was Kingston's birthday, and I had I thought I was going to vlog that day. And it turns out I only vlogged the morning, so I, I didn't vlog much. Because <clears throat> the day went from hectic to crazy real fast, okay? I'm, I'm sleep deprived. If I look crazy, you know, y'all know why. I'm tired, okay? But I'm gonna tell you guys why. But before I tell you guys why, let me go ahead and flashback to yesterday morning so that you guys can see me giving Kingston his gift and all that. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, and I'm back for another video. It's a bright and early Sunday morning, and today is a special day because it's Kingston's birthday. So we're gonna prank Kingston. He's downstairs right now, and instead of giving him his, uh, give me that. And instead of giving him his his real gift right off the bat, we're gonna fill up this bag with um, stuff that he already has, right? And just to play a little prank on him. Hmm. All right. So I'm full of ideas this morning. I just came up with another idea. I have both of the presents here. Okay, I'm going to give him the first decoy present and we're gonna prank him a little bit. Once we tell him that he has an actual real gift, I'm gonna hide the little gift somewhere around the house and I'm gonna tell Kingston that he's gotta go find it. So just to make it a little bit more fun and exciting, okay? <laughs> Got his present here on the couch. So as soon as he gets done with this match, we're gonna let him open it. Ready? Happy birthday, Kingston. Thank you. Just pull it open. That's our gift. What? This is stuff you already have. Look, I want We don't have it. What? You don't like it? I guess you gotta go find it! <laughs> yeah. Kingston found his gift, his real gift, and he's opening it now. Pull it out. I know, huh? You like that? Oh, my first phone! Yeah. Do you love it? I love it. I don't like it. I love it. Really? Yes. Okay, hold it up so I can do a thumbnail. Wow, so cute. Today has been a super crazy day. We've been doing all kinds of different things, you know, trying to get it together around here, you know what I'm saying? It is still Kingston's birthday. Get off of that. And we are going to now sing him happy birthday. He's gotten presents, he's got money, PlayStation cards, we got cell phones going around here. I mean, he's got it's just all kinds of different stuff going on. And then we're gonna go to the movies too, so. We got all kinds of things going on, but I'm trying to get this, you know, our happy birthday out the way. Happy, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday, dear Kingston. Happy birthday to you. Ready? Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. Woo! Wasn't that cute, like, it was cute. Um, he ended up making out yesterday. He got 
$100 from his dad. Hubby bought him some V-Bucks for Fortnite because that's what he was begging for. And I got him the cell phone because he's been asking. He wanted a cell phone or a computer. And I was like, let's save the computer for like Christmas or something. We'll just give him the phone now. And so he was a very happy child. Very, very happy child. And then Hubby took him yesterday and he spent his little money and got him some more toys, some Nerf guns, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then we went to the movies last night. Kai has been sick on, she's been sick for like the last couple of days, like with a cough. She said her throat was hurting. She said that, um, you know, she's been just not feeling well. Cadence yesterday started complaining really bad. She was like, I don't feel good. She's like, my throat's starting to hurt. I think Kai got me sick. And I was like, uh oh, cause I already know once one gets sick, eventually, through and through, normally they all get sick with the exception of Kingston, unless it's a bacterial infection like strep. I'm like, okay, let's let's give you some Tylenol. Let's send you off to bed. Let's see you know, how you are in the morning because I knew that they had school today. And I was like, let's just see how you are tomorrow because you know, you just never know. They could wake up feeling fine or they could wake up feeling really, really sick. So, Cadence and Kingston, both kept waking me up last night in the middle of the sleep and this is one of those things like you know like if your child is really really sick if they wake up several times and they're waking me up like I don't feel good my throat hurts this hurts you know and then I'm like okay you really are something's going on especially with Cadence because usually she won't get up in the middle of the night so Cadence kept waking me up she woke me up the one time and I, she's like well my throat is just really really dry I was like okay honey go downstairs get yourself some water you know lay down lay back down let me know how you feel because I'm half sleep too I'm like let me let's you know if you continue to feel worse just just wait come back and wake me up right after she came in Kingston came in like maybe 30 minutes later and said he wasn't feeling good his throat was hurting really bad so actually no they woke up together the first time and then I said sent them both down to get water they both went to sleep and then they woke both came back about an hour later and they were like I don't feel good still or no Kate if the, after that Kingston was asleep Cadence came back and she was like I really still just I don't feel good mom you know and so I'm like okay let me get up and give you some Tylenol I gave, got up gave her some Tylenol she went back to sleep and this morning they both woke up still feeling bad Kaya you know she's had it for a couple of days she hasn't been super super ill but Cadence it hit her like a like a train she's 102 fever coughing really bad really lethargic chills you name it so I call this morning, I make her a doctor's appointment, all three of them a doctor's appointment. Right now, the twins, Cash, Junebug, Blaze, all good. Um, and so, <clears throat> I let them stay at home, and I took the ones that are really showing symptoms. Everybody came back positive for strep. And now, I'm like, my throat is scratchy, and I'm like nauseous, and I don't feel good. I'm like, fast forward, this is the next day, and I am so sick I can't breathe my chest I feel like somebody's sitting on my chest right now <sighs> hubby told me last night that I should have went to the doctor like yeah you should go to the doctor because I was starting to complain about having difficulty breathing last night and I just didn't want to go because I was so tired I'd rather sleep and then if it gets worse and I'll go in the morning <clears throat> I woke up at 3 a.m. stayed up until about 4 35 o'clock went to sleep and woke up at 7 and I'm still having trouble breathing it's not getting any better and it gets worse every time I cough now I don't want to have anything happening to me you know um, so hubby's gonna stay home with the kids as you see and I'm gonna run myself up here to the hospital I'm pulling up now I'm so like I don't like feeling like this, like you can't breathe and stuff. I'd rather have the worst sore throat than have a cough accompanied, accompanied with chest congestion because I'm not breathing. I'm not breathing right. Um, so hopefully they give me something good that'll open up my airways a little bit because I'm really struggling. Um, and I don't have asthma. So I shouldn't be struggling this hard to intake air. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna get in here. What's up, you all? It's your girl, and I'm back for another video. So good morning, y'all. As you can see, I'm still in my bed. 8.21. It's 8.21. Excuse my spider screen. This is day three 
of being extremely sick. I went to the emergency room. I just really, I got up from the couch and I just, I went upstairs and I was like out of breath. Like wa just, just walking up the stairs. I couldn't breathe. It was just like, just really difficult. And I told you guys that the night before hubby was like, go to the doctor, go to the doctor. And I was like, I'm too tired. I'm only going to go if it's really, really serious. And I was like, you know, I, you know, like I said, I couldn't sleep. So I got up, did the live, <coughs> drank some tea. And I was just like, I went to the bathroom, <coughs> washed my face. And I was like, I literally can't breathe. This is just not normal in my whole 28 years of life. I've never felt this way. So let me just go and go to the doctor. I go to, um, I go to the doctor. I get a doctor who was not that great. Sometimes you get those doctors who are just like, eh, yeah, I don't know, but eh, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like one of those type, types of doctors. And I feel like I might have caught her at the end of her shift because a lot of people were coming in when I was coming in. So I'm thinking she's probably at the end of her shift and tired and, you know, whatever. Um, so I told them my symptoms, I told them what had been going on, and I told them that my kids had already been diagnosed with strep. So she's like, okay, let's give you a chest x-ray. This is my mom again. Hold on again. I was saying before I had interrupted again. She gave me a chest x-ray. Um, it came back that, you know, they couldn't find anything. Um, and she said she didn't know basically why my chest was feeling like that and why I was short of breath. She said that she was just going to send me home with a prescription just because my kids, she told me, I told her that my kids um, had strep. And she's like, well, were they actually tested? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay. Basically, like, she took my word for it and was like, okay, here you go. Send me, scoop me out the door with the prescription. After I left, I still felt like shit. Um, but I was like, all right, let me go get this prescription filled. I dropped it off at the pharmacy went directly home i didn't want to wait because they were like it's gonna be 30 minutes or something i was like all right i'll go home take a nap or whatever and come back um i came home ate some soup you know um drank some water feeling really bad took two tylenols lay down fell asleep okay hubby was home the whole day helping me with the kids and doing all everything i was in the bed um and then so i had him like i wake up out of my sleep and I'm like <laughs> like I'm really like I can't fucking breathe like I'm having a panic attack or I mean like I'm having an asthma attack and your girl does not have asthma okay and I said okay let me get up let me maybe get out and get some fresh air let me go get some like go run to Walmart and grab some juice or something and you know because we were out of juice because the kids have been sick all week too so I was like let me go get some juice and you know grab a couple of things get up get some fresh air um and things like that so i leave the house i'm in the car i get in the car and i feel like i'm gonna pass out went back in told him what was going on again i got a real doctor this time somebody you know that switch shifts somebody who really cared who was really thorough and very very good the first time i had a pa and i'm not saying all pas are like that but i just rather I don't like working with physician assistants. I would much rather work with an actual physician. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Because um, I just feel like, you know, there's a reason why you're not a doctor. You know what I'm saying? Ran all the tests, like, came and took, stuck an IV in immediately. Um, they realized I was dehydrated. Um, they took all of my blood work and everything like they were supposed to. And uh, then they got me started on antibiotics right then and there. Um and everything like gave me some Tylenol because I came in with a fever that's probably why I was feeling like I was about to pass out and then they gave me a CAT scan I've had a CAT scan before but this one was different they had to inject me with a dye to light up my lungs and my chest and I was like why you know um, I don't I'm one of those I'm one of those patients that's gonna question everything what is that what are you doing with that what, what does that do what is that called again? What are you giving me now? Yeah, I'm one of those patients because, you know, I just gotta make sure, you know? She did her little pictures and things like that. Took me back to my um, my room where I sat there for like maybe 10 minutes. And then they came in and told me, then the doctor came in and he was like, hey, you little troublemaker. I was like, I know, right? Been here all day. 
And um, he said, you have pneumonia. And that's why you feel like that. And I was like, God. Um, he sent me home with uh, another prescription for the cough medicine. Turns out what the lady prescribed me before was the same medicine that they prescribed for pneumonia too. So technically, I could have just taken it and gotten better. But I would not have... I know me, and at least knowing that I have pneumonia and this is a normal symptom of pneumonia, I'm not freaking out. But not knowing, I was like freaking out. Like, why is my chest feeling like this? I feel like I got a collapsed lung or something. Like, what is going on? Having this chest congestion and heaviness, I know what it's from. And so I can kind of keep an eye on it. If I'm not getting better after like a week, I can, you know, it's like different. You know, I can, I can take care of myself a little better knowing exactly what it was that was wrong with me instead of just being sent home with no answers. You see what I'm saying? They're feeling better for the most part as far as the strep throat and feeling like really bad. Cadence was feeling really bad. Um, but she is since feeling better because she's been on her antibiotics since Monday. Her Kingston and Kaya. Um, Good morning. Mom. I love you. I love you too. Thank you, baby. Bye. Yeah, everybody's on antibiotics. So, but we all still, they all still have a cough. Some of them didn't have a cough and now they do. So I feel like it's it was like a bacterial and a viral thing that kind of hit us at the same time. Okay. Which is like, it was a doozy. Um, I am, though, without a doubt, the sickest person in the house.